Tonight, the panel presents what role, if any, should Canada play in the humanitarian crisis in Syria. But first, some background. The Syrian Arab Republic, commonly known as Syria, is a country of 21 million in the Middle East. The central government, located in Damascus, strongly regulates the economy, which relies heavily on oil and gas. The country is comprised of many diverse ethnic and religious groups, with Arab Sunnis representing the majority. In 1946, Syria gained independence, but then experienced multiple military coups until Hafez al-Assad and the Alawite elite came to power in 1971. In 2000, Bashar al-Assad, Hafez's son, came to power, but few reforms materialized and the country remained under emergency law. March 2011, the Arab Spring reaches Syria. Protests in Damascus and Deraa trigger a series of events that would eventually accumulate into a bloody civil war that would leave no Syrian untouched. Each month, the casualty rate increases. From the 2012 massacre in Hula, where 83 women and children were killed, to the recent use of chemical weapons, murder, massacre, and mayhem have become a regular occurrence in Syria. Even cyberspace is not immune, as both sides wage an informational war. As the atrocities mount, the international community has struggled to respond. Many Western countries have sent millions in aid. Canada alone has provided $362 million. Meanwhile, China and Russia continue to veto UN votes sanctioning Syria. The Syrian National Coalition for Opposition and Revolutionary Forces has been recognized as the official coalition by most Western countries, with the exception of Canada. Yet these same countries remain hesitant about providing military aid. Complicating international support is the rise of the al-Nusra group within rebel ranks due to its ties with al-Qaeda. A recent deal may have removed chemical weapons from the equation, yet despite this, the civil war rages on and the death toll continues to rise. After 959 days, 2 million refugees, and 100,000 plus casualties, the question remains, what role, if any, should Canada play in the humanitarian crisis in Syria?